right, good afternoon everybody. It is July 14th. It's in the afternoon. It's after 4, almost 5 o'clock. The rain has finally subsided. It's been raining all day here in Florida, but the sun has come out partially. So it's time to work on, continue work on the Bengal Tiger Kelly electric guitar build. Uh, the wood grain filler ugly phase part 2 is the wood grain filler is fully cured. So I'm going to go ahead and sand it smooth. Uh, plans are to probably put it on the hanger and possibly put some primer coats on it. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how the rain holds out. But yeah, alright. So, And I've already shown a video earlier of how it looked. Let's see. With the uh, green filler. Alright, time to make this beautiful. Alright, we'll see in a little bit. Alright, the ugly phase has passed. I'm going to show you the sanding is complete and it is looking good. Yeah. Yeah. And a couple spots I had to put some glazing putty in, but that's good. All right. Now it's time to put it on the hanger and put some primer coats to seal all this in. So, all right. We'll see you in a little bit. Alright, it's looking good. I got it on the hanger. And we're going to go for some primer coats. I'm going to first hit it with some 600 grit sandpaper to level it out as best as possible. But there's going to be multi layers of paint. It's going to be the black, the, uh, the yellow, and the orange. So, and then I'll probably go with a 2K clear coat over all that. So, it doesn't have to be 100% smooth because it'll be filled in, but I like to get it as smooth as possible. But yeah, we'll see when we get some primer on it. All right, see in a little bit. All right, first coat of primer. And I gotta say, I love this product. Yeah, this is, that last one wasn't a one-off. Uh, and it's soaking into the, the body, so it's good. I bought two cans, so I might even put two cans on here and <laughs> let it set for a week just to uh, make it as perfect as possible. Yeah, but look at that. That's This stuff is just something else, I swear. And, um, for as far as primer base coats, this stuff is the best. And I've been doing this a while, and this is this is the best. And it's already it's already dry to the touch. And, I, and I've been, you know, putting it on there, and it's just wow. All right, so let me keep uh, layering the coats on there. Let's let this uh, flash off a little bit. And wow, yeah, it's just killer. And it's perfect that it's cloudy. I've mean, got a little bit of sun on the guitar now, but I, I don't think it's that that hot. So it should be okay. But yeah, all right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, final update on the Bengal Tiger Kelly Elect. Uh, guitar build. <laughs> wow. I love this product. That Krylon. Uh... Oh wow, look at that. That's just amazing. Man, this is two, two guitars in a row using this product and it's just, it doesn't disappoint. Okay, let me hurry up and get this inside <laughs> before something bad happens. We'll see you in a little bit. Alright, now this is the final update of today. <laughs> Just had to do one more quick update just to show you the Kelly. Wow, how that paint just turned out. Wow. Are the primer coats the, uh, the that primer, that Krylon primer? Look at that. That just looks amazing. All right. Just wanted to show you that real quick. Whew. I am tired. I am beat. But yeah, we got four uh, four guitars waiting on paint to cure. So. All right, hope everybody is good. Let me show you a close up of it. Yeah, see that, that Krylon really, he really does a good job at filler paint. No problem with the nozzles, no, like with the, with the Rust-Oleum, I always got like the little uh, dust bunny little thingies that shot out everywhere and you had to always like, almost like, dust off like you do the sides of the guitar and the front would accumulate all this like dust powdery stuff that you'd have to 
I swear I will never use this one again. This is ugh, not good stuff. This is by far superior in this particular case. The Krylon, yay, go through. All right, everybody have a good night and we will see you tomorrow for some more fun. All right. Yeah, I just wanted to get a better, better light of how it looks. That's yeah, very cool. All right, we'll let this cure for a few days and we'll feel a bit. Uh, all right, good afternoon, everybody. It still is Thursday, July 14th, 2022, and it's a rain day, so we're doing fret work today. So we're going to start the fret work on the Bengal Tiger Kelly electric guitar build. So got all my tools here so what I need to do first as always is just to make sure the fretboard is completely straight and I'll do that with my tools here and then I'll tape it up and then we'll level crown and polish the frets and then everything will play beautifully all right we'll see you in a bit all right next is straight I got everything taped up and the frets are marked all right now I'm, uh, I got my fresh uh, sandpaper on my leveling beam and we're going to level the frets. Alright, we'll see in a little bit. Alright, uh, quick update. I got all the frets crowned and it looks good. They're all crowned. Alright, we'll see you next step. Alright, good evening. How's everybody doing? Alright, the final update on the Bengal Tiger electric guitar Kelly build. Um, got all the frets leveled, crowned, and polished and looking awesome. So, alright, um, it's getting kind of dark out, so let's conclude work on the guitar today, and we'll start again tomorrow. If it's sunny, we'll tape it up. I've got one more thing to do before, but I don't even, you don't even, I won't, I won't show you that. I'll just do the front ends, make sure the front ends are nice and smooth. But uh, other than that, we will see everybody tomorrow, and have a good day. Alright, final update on the... Bengal Tiger Kelly guitar build. All the frets have been leveled, crowned, and polished. And the neck is looking sweet. All right, final thing to do, we'll do the fret ends. Get the fret end file out and make all the friends, fret ends nice and rounded and smooth. And that'll be it. And then tomorrow, uh, weather permitting, we'll put a, a layer, I think about three, four layers of gloss black on the front of the headstock and start the paint process. All right, I hope everybody's having a good night and we will see you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It is July 15, 2022. It's about 7 a.m. and it's supposed to be sunny today. It's a little, little kind of wettish out there, but it's supposed to be sunny. So I'm going to start early. I'm going to tape up the next time to continue work on the Bengal Tiger Kelly electric guitar build and as far as that goes I didn't know you recall earlier I did all the fret work yesterday last night and it's looking sweet so now I'm gonna tape it up and we're gonna do some black base coats on the front of the headstock and that's the first process in the Bengal Tiger yellow and orange paint scheme job and we're gonna let that cure for several days and then we'll apply all the other colors but this is the first step so I got my tools here, I got my tape, got my paper towel, and let's tape up this neck, and we'll see you in a second. All right, we are all taped up. We are ready to go, ready to rock and roll for some gloss black paint. All right, I'm going to go outside and put a few layers on gloss black. Hopefully it goes well. We'll see you when it's over. All right, see you in a bit. All right, both necks are looking sweet. Yeah. Looking good. I'll have to crack the lines, of course, but that's okay. And there's going to be other colors of paint going on here as well. With this one, it's going to be red and white. And with this one, it's going to be orange and yellow. So that's going to be interesting. So, all right, we'll let these cure for a few days. And it went fairly well. Uh, the paint went on fairly even. Still pretty early in the day. I think I'm going to give the Kelly a day or two more to cure, but the uh, the body for the Eddie Van Halen Random Star has been curing for a while now, for probably about three, four days. And they usually say it's 24 hours for fully cure on this 
particular primer and it looks pretty good i might do like a 600 grit sandpaper on it and then get the coats of black black's got to go underneath the black's going to be the under stripes and then on top of that of course is going to be the white and then the red so and then taped up accordingly so all right so let me see how the weather is and how i feel about it and we might try to knock out that color of black on there today all right we'll see you good morning everybody it's still july 15th early i had such success with the eddie van halen random star tribute guitar painting the base coat black that i thought i would work on the bangle tiger kelly as well i just wanted to show you how the primer coats look let's see if i can turn this around in the light and you can see yeah how awesome this paint that two-in-one that i found look at that wow that is just that just turned out just killer i love it wow man i was considering just leaving it the, the primer gray look at how cool it looks wow <laughs> it's cool but all right so i'm gonna get some 600 grit i'm already set up i got everything set up got the paint already and everything like that so i'm gonna put some 600 grit sandpaper on this guitar and make it even flatter and make sure all the crevices and everything like that doesn't have any body filler or anything on there so and then we'll hang it up and we're gonna go for some base coats of black all right we'll see you in a little bit all right got it sanded to 600 grit and it's looking good it's looking really good i gotta hurry up and get some black paints on there the sun's coming i can feel it getting a little bit warmer it's 80 degrees now so i'm gonna try to get this i know the cutoff is about 89 degrees but i want to try to get this black done but not in a rush or anything but yeah it looks good let me blow it off and tack cloth it and then we'll get some black on there all right see you in a bit all right quick update on the Bengal tiger kelly guitar build <laughs> yeah that black uh this first layer of black and it is looking good i'm gonna put multiple layers so any of the imperfections We'll get and then there's going to be you know probably about seven eight more coats of paint that are going to go on here so any of the imperfections that are seen are going to diminish and become very not noticeable or disappear altogether but yeah looking pretty good loving that primer all right let's let this cure or flash off for a few and then we'll put another paint another coat all right see you in a bit all right how's everybody doing just a final update on the Bengal tiger um kelly electric guitar build got the neck all blacked up and then got the body in black let's see if i can sneak around here without bumping anything it's kind of a tight quarters oh yeah it's kind of tight Ooh. but yeah the black paint turned out really well i am really happy how it turned out so we're gonna let this cure for probably about a week and then when it's done curing, let me concentrate on getting out of here. Oh, it's tight, tight, tight. Don't want to bump any guitars. Okay, yeah. Once this cures for about a week, then we'll go with the next color. Well, actually, we got to create the uh, the pattern on the uh, transfer tape, just like we did on this one. The uh, Ninja Warrior guitar number one, which is still curing. And I still got to touch up the paint on that one, but that one is looking awesome. Can't wait. I'll touch up the paint, do a clear coat, and it's going to look just kind of glow with that 2K clear coat. And same thing with the headstock. Got the headstock over there. But anyway, so this concludes on the lot of breath. I was a little nervous getting back and forth, but um, represents the end of what the progress for today for the uh, Bengal Tiger Kelly electric guitar build. And we'll continue on with that. And in the meantime, we'll be working again on the uh, Ninja Warrior number two guitar. And we're gonna let all these parts cure. And we'll, you know, we're gonna wait till another couple days to sand and do a final coat of black on the Pac Man guitar. And I did make a pickguard. I decided to go with a pickguard material for the front with the, and I'm gonna thin it out so it'll be cool, so it'll match the back. So, all right, hope everybody's having a good day. This is Brian Raglan from Brian Payne Raglan Guitars, and we will see you soon. All right, have a good one. Good afternoon, everybody. It is July 26, 2022, and it's time to continue work on the Bangle Tiger Kelly guitar build. And what I've done is mostly uh, 
layer of paper. I've drawn it up, I've taped together these two sections. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, and I've compared, here's the, uh, the colored scheme that we're going for. So what we're gonna do, I already made sure it was the proper size to the guitar itself. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to, we're gonna trace this out on um, paper. And then ultimately we're gonna transfer it over to the uh, transfer tape. And we're gonna get all that ready and we're probably gonna paint this guitar first thing in the morning, but it's gonna be a lot of work to cut this out. All right, I got my pencils, got my Vacto blade. So let me go ahead and this is the front. Let me go ahead and copy the pattern to the front of this and we'll be right back. All right. All right, I got the front of the guitar traced on the first sheet of paper, or uh, several sheets of paper. All right, let me uh, take this off and then we'll find these lines and I'll see you in a bit. All right, got the trace out here and I marked them accordingly, the sides, the individual pieces that aren't connected to anything else. So that way I know the order of how they go on the guitar, like left one, left two, left three, left four, right one, so on. And then I'll mark the center pieces where I, I'll cut them so they're not so big so when I gotta peel them off. I don't want them to be super huge. So I'll cut them in like manageable sections. So, and then I'll mark middle such. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so let me cut these out with the scissors and then see if we can transfer them over to the transfer tape. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, got the pieces cut out with the X-Acto blade. And I know this looks very complicated, <laughs> and it is, but if I can pull it off, this is gonna be pretty awesome. I got all the mark, the X for the top pieces, like the left pieces, the right pieces, and the middle pieces. And then I'll cut these after I transfer it over onto the transfer tape that way. And then the sides, I'll just fill in with masking tape, but I'm gonna do the exact same on the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over on the other sheet. And then with the other sheet, I'm going to cut it out the exact same way. And that way it'll match my template with the um, existing, you know, with, with you know, it'll, it'll match both sides, the top and the bottom. So, all right. <laughs> yeah, this is very complex, but I think once I get it all on there and I spray on the finish and then... Hopefully it just goes well, but anyway, we'll see you next step. Okay, I got the metal piece, uh, I got it temporarily taped onto the transfer tape. And I've got my fine tip uh, Sharpie marker that actually came with the Cricut machine. <laughs> Hopefully it works. Uh, and we're gonna trace this out. And I'm thinking, I was thinking instead of, you know, making another template for the other side, all these different pieces, I'll just flip over and then make an exact duplicate for the back and then you'll see it'll work out good hopefully. All right, we'll see you in a bit. All right, got it transferred over to the transfer tape. And as you can see, it's pretty cool. So what I'll do is I will cut this out with an X-Acto blade. And you see how I got the red sections and then I marked each section accordingly, M1 through M7. So I'll get the X-Acto blade and I'll cut this out. Um, and then I'll train, you know, when it's time to transfer it over to the guitar, I'll peel it and then tape it to the guitar. So, yeah, so that'd be pretty cool. Hopefully this will work good. And what I was thinking is I'll take this exact same, uh, uh, same template and for the back, I'll just flip it over and then get me another piece of uh, transfer tape. And then I'll draw this out on the transfer tape and then label it accordingly. And that way it'll be right on the back. And then this will be the center spline. And then all the sections that hang over the edge um, around the sides of the guitar, I'll just use masking tape and tape it off. So it's going to be a very intense taping on this guitar once it gets. It's been 12 days. The black has time has been drying. So that's good, good, good. So hopefully it'll all work out and uh, thinking about maybe, anyway, so anyway, so I know it's complex, complicated, it's kind of hurting my head now thinking about it, but uh, alright, so let me get the other uh, template drawn out and we'll see in a bit. And I'll do the same thing with the uh, each individual, alright, so I got the back drawn out for the middle section, 
So this is the back and that's the front. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing, uh, two copies of the uh, right and left sections. And then for the back, I'll just flip them and then make back sections. <laughs> it's going to be kind of complex to keep it all together here. But then um, I used, actually, it was good that I made the two copies because this will be my reference page when I apply the stickers. So, and that will be pretty cool. And then I can always flip this too as far as the reference for the back so and then like I said on the sides I'll just connect all the connects with the uh, masking tape so all right we're getting her done all right still got a lot of work to do all right we'll see you in a little bit all right here's all the transfer tape cutouts uh all right next step is going to be with the exacto blade to uh cut out all these individual pieces so yeah that's going to be very interesting so uh it's going to be a lot of work, but the effect is going to be just massive. So if I could pull this off, this is going to be the, the trickiest paint job I've ever attempted. So hopefully it'll work. All right. So, all right. We'll see you in a little bit. All right. Got the middle section exacto bladed out. And this is this way. Yeah, I don't know if it's tired. So I'm going to think I'm going to call it for today. So and we'll continue this tomorrow. So this concludes the, uh, the progress thus far on the uh, Bengal Tiger Kelly guitar build, and we'll continue tomorrow. Continue tomorrow. It's like pouring rain tonight, so uh, it might rain tomorrow. So no sense in rushing this. So all right, and then we'll work on this tomorrow, and we'll continue with the exacto. And of course, I'll cut this in sections that way when it peels off. Uh, and I'm thinking that uh, when I do apply this plastic or the uh, transfer tape uh, to the guitar itself and then I spray the uh, orange yellow, I think I'm going to let it uh, cure before I attempt to pull off any of this. I've never really, there's going to be so much of it that it's going to be nearly impossible and it's probably going to, when the, the paint coagulates it gets a little chewy and it starts to pull off so yeah so when I apply all this and I spray paint it, I'll wait till it dries a day or two. Then I'll actually go back and, well, actually probably a week and then pull off the tape. And hopefully it doesn't pull off the layers of paint with it. So, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, maybe the next day probably. Or, yeah, I'll pull off the tape. But anyway, so we'll continue on tomorrow. I hope everybody's having a good night and we'll see you then. Good morning, everybody. It's 6.15 on July 27, 2022, and it is, I'm continuing work with the Bengal Tiger guitar build with the paint, and I've cut out all the different uh, transfer tape plastic uh, bits. Um, the weather, I don't know if it's going to cooperate this morning, morning. It's supposed to rain from 8 to 10, which is not going to be good for painting. Um, we'll see how it goes. It's 6 o'clock now. Uh, I don't know whether to start applying the tape to the guitar right now, because I, uh, I guess it's going to be on there for quite a while, so I guess it's going to take a while, you know, because I'm going to let the paint somewhat cure before I start peeling it off, because there's going to be no way of, I mean, you figure all these bits, there's 12, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 39 individual pieces that actual tape and then I'm going to be marking the you know taping the sides where they connect so it's going to be a bunch of tape at least a hundred pieces of tape to pull off after I'm already painted so yeah I guess I could apply it to the body and see how it fares I mean it's just I guess the only way to do it is just to dive in there and do it so all right so let me separate things get things organized maybe get the body out here and start applying some tape all right we'll see what out and now I'm gonna try to orient orientate orientate <laughs> uh, trying to get where I'm gonna have the paint scheme and I'm gonna have to match it to this and you know it's gonna be unique for this guitar itself and see how it fits so all right and we'll see you in a little bit <laughs> all right quick update I've got the center section just the middle the middle bits of tape put on and it looks awesome I'm going by my reference picture and my reference picture <laughs> it looks pretty sweet 
Oh, that's going to be amazing. Oh, man. Anyway, all right, let me continue with the sides on the front, and then we'll flip it over and do the same thing in the back. We'll see you in a bit. All right, got all the top bits. Uh, got to add a few little things, like I'll add a downward, you know, touch it up, but that's basically how it's looking, looking pretty cool. All right, time to flip it over and then apply the same thing to the back. <laughs> we'll see in a sec. That is awesome. All right, got my main stencil flipped over. And it looks pretty cool. So I'll start snipping out the bits and making it work. All right, I'll see you in a bit. All right, got the center bits light up. It looks pretty good. And it does look like on the sides that the bits match up with each other enough to where it's going to be flowing. It's going to be awesome. So, all right, let me get the side bits on the back and we'll be right back. All right, all the back bits of tape have been completed. <laughs> now let me trim up the edges and then work on the side bits and get this thing ready for paint. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to rain, so we, uh, we possibly, it says rain coming, but we might possibly might be able to do some paint on here. All right, we'll see in a little bit. All right, I got half the side and the bottom done. <laughs> it's looking awesome. Oh, wow, I can't wait to get some paint on here, and then I can't actually wait to, to pull all the tape off and see the results. And of course, I'm going to put 2K clear coat every, over everything after I touch up all the black bits because I'm sure there's going to be some overspray here and there. But yeah, that, <laughs> that looks killer. Uh, that's an awesome paint, paint job. We'll see how it turns out. Fingers crossed. All right, let's see a little bit. All right, got it fully taped up. I'm just amazed that I was able to accomplish this. Um, when I first started uh, considering this kind of paint job, you know, to uh, do like that I, I thought I could do it but I really didn't know how so it's just a matter of just necessity I guess just uh, winging it and you know I didn't watch any videos on how to tape it up but I have taped up guitars before but yeah I just wanted to show you we're ready for some paint I got three colors I'm gonna use I'm gonna use orange in the center kind of like a yellow orange around the edges and then yellow on the sides so it's gonna it's gonna really look good it's gonna pop so uh all right let me clean out my mess um uh, the sun is out we are good to go for paints um i'm gonna let this uh paint i'm after i spray the paints i'm gonna let it cure for you know maybe a day or two and before i start peeling off the tape you know uh, I've never done it like that. I've always just peeled the tape. Hopefully the tape doesn't pull any of the black off. But, you know, you just wing it and go with it. And I can always touch it up. So, all right. We'll see you next step. Let me get cleaned up, get my shoes on, get the paint ready, and we'll see you outside. It's it's about 8.30 now. I started about 6 something. So it's been a couple hours putting the tape on there. But, yeah, I think the end result is going to be so amazing that it's just going to be, oh, man, I just can't wait to see it. So, uh, all right. fingers crossed, wish me luck, and we will see everybody soon. And it's great that the, uh, the vine, um, the strap button is right in the center, and that's where the vine goes straight up the center there. So that's going to be so cool. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, we moved everything outside. We are ready for clear coat. I'll make sure all the tape is pushed down, make sure there's no hair in the parts being painted, and then we're ready for some. And I got my three colors. I got my orange, I got my semi-orange, and I got my yellow, and fingers crossed this will work the way it's supposed to, and we'll see in a little bit. Alright, <laughs> just a quick update. Wow, I am speechless. Oh my lord. Of course I'll have to touch up here and there, and I still got to take off the back side only. I did the sides already, but wow. And it's just amazing. <laughs> oh my god. And right after I finished spraying, it started like, you know, looking like it was going to rain. So I'm doing this inside. Uh, it's a little bit stressful, but working it. All right, let me do the back and I'll be right back. Wow, look at that. That is just, oh my god. Who would have thought that I could pull something like that off? Wow, that is just so cool. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, here's the view from the back. Uh, I, I am just in awe. 
Like I said, I've got touching up to do with the black, of course, and uh, maybe orange and yellow here and there, but overall, wow. All right, so we're gonna let this cure for a few days. Wow, the colors just pop. I swear, that's just, the color combination is just amazing. Whew, I tell you what. Ooh, that was nerves, nerves right there. But okay, so let me uh, clean up everything and uh, let this uh, cure. I might do another video tomorrow, but wow, that orange, uh, two, the two, two tones of orange that I used, just, uh, I'm glad I did it like that. All right, hope everybody's having a good day, and we will talk to you soon. Wow. And then just one last, little last peek of it. I got it from a different angle. Just wanted to show you the sides, how good they turned out. And the front. Wow. I love it. That is just too cool. I can I can do this stuff forever. Look at that. Have results like that. Wow. Oh, three sheets of plywood. And now it's uh, three half inch sheets of plywood. <laughs> okay, so the next step is going to be to let this cure for a while, like I said, and then uh, start working on the headstock. And uh, I already got it black. It's up there on the on the back there. So I just got to figure out the color scheme and then paint the, the colors on there. But all right, we'll talk to you soon. Wow. Well,